Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are once again in Dungeons of Dreadmar. Um, last time we had this slog fest of a monster zoo, and I uh, figured that it was pretty long, so I'm gonna just call it good. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is video four of the series, and I'm only wondering, am I gonna actually claw my way to the bottom with this? I'm the, the original plan for the goal. Hang on, let's take these off. So I'm not too loud. The original plan for the whole series here was uh, roll like a fun character, and screw around a bit, have a bit of fun, and when I inevitably die, I just roll the next character and continue on. I've never really made it past floor three before, so yeah. This is kind of the, I have no idea what I'm doing moments. Because originally I would have thought that I would have had... Uh, Oof. I'm also kind of surprised how well this um, build has actually worked again. We've got, we've mastered the Master of Arms, we're at Lillen, all the other trees. Normally I just max this tree out, maybe that was my, was my big issue, I wasn't spraying the points out like I should have. Well, be interested to see how this goes. Oh boy. What is this do for me again? The sleeping little robot lies. I... <laughs> I mean, I just picked sort of the random stereotypical knight build. <clears throat> Depending on the build you take, I mean, if you go with a rogue build, you can disarm these traps. Heck, sometimes you can even recover these traps, so it's just, okay, I'm gonna stick you right there, and then, there you go, there you go. Also, they can lockpick, which again, is a lot of, um, oh, great cheese. The Royal Beatdown. I like the name. See what's this button? There we go. This is the best kind of trap to try this arm. Oh. Ah, I see me fun fight. Some monsters or something where I can't utilize all of this regen I'm running on. It's just, just gonna be a disaster. Oh, no one is trying to kill me. Oh, they both do almost the exact same thing. Interesting. Oh, I'm like, did I level up? Scythe plastic bolt.
Um, actually, the Berserker Rage has done pretty well so far. I've never actually seen an invisible enemy before. So. Hey, you triggered the trap! How am I the guilty one? I've already... Let's see, where's this taking me? Huh. Nowhere, apparently. Trying to kick... Trying to knock these floors out kind of quickish. Actually, I'm screwing myself over, because... As much as I'm sure you would love to watch me fail, I'd love to show you a full run. But that's gonna take a while. If this actually gets too far, I'll actually just start uploading these twice a week. Because it's gonna take me that long to get. I mean. I love that I have the map in the corner, I can actually find these. <sighs> you did not just shut the door on me. I got a pie in my head. Have something with that steak. Ingredients. I swear, one of these you can cook the steak. Oh no, I need a grill for that. I need to just find the grill. Okay, never mind. Where are they going? This way, right? A dire sandwich. It is unmanned. Heroes. Power right here is the new to dare feed upon. <laughs> Heroic vandalism. 300 experience points. You actually have to be careful because they don't carry over. Fresh steak. Wait, what did I just learn to make? Fresh steak. Steak. Aged steak. Grilled steak. I can give a glaze. <laughs> oh my god. I can glaze my armor and get an extra five health and. What the heck is that symbol? Not an alchemist. Why am I carrying half this crap? Ooh, more electrics. Hmm? Get rid of some of the extra crap I don't need anymore. Normally I'd sell a shop or something, but that was like an option in this game. Where does this take me? Wow. Right where I was. Oh, this is a new spot. You're annoying me. Wait, no, it's literally just down the way. Ooh. Crom. How long are you?
And for those on the animation, they're using it's actually the same as your unarmed. Yes, you can literally go through the entire game unarmed. I prefer a sword. Actually, I prefer a pole arm, but I didn't really think that worked with a shield particularly well. Ooh, more berserk! <laughs> Holy crap! That's double the base of rage. Wow. My character has some serious anger management issues. Vodka. Hang on the wall. I'm not going to butcher that. Luke fish. Luke fish for the Luke fish gods. Actually, I believe it's an achievement. Cheese sounds good right about that too. What oh, about some of the French? Okay. Oh. That's new. Um unfortunately half the sandwich is asleep. Yet. Well, maybe I should be the way I'm, way I'm tearing through things. Not taking... This is not where I was supposed to be. Green armor. That is, of course, a, refer a reference to Doom. Actually, if you wear the right helmet, you can become Doom guy. No, it's not fine. That's there. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't trying to kill me. Oh, that one is on the ass. These rooms, actually, my memory serves. Some of these rooms actually will grant you a bonus to um, to your smithing skills, allowing you to sort of bypass needs or just hit requirements that you might that you can't perform normally. Like, if you only have XYZ amount you get from your account, talent trees, you can sort of augment it from there. almost knocked out or maybe it's not quite done yet <laughs> best use practice in killing vampires don't be silly vampires aren't real the trap in this room probably a repeating trap 
because that one was injured and we wouldn't have put money. He's injured <laughs> because he stepped on a pressure panel. Oh, huh, stand corrected. Clockwork Rail Launcher. Let's see, it's a Clockwork Bolt Thrower, Power Scar, Self Stealing Steam Bolt, and a. Hmm. Here we are. The Omnipotent Poke Sword. <laughs> the least kosher sword in the dungeon. Ooh. Mm, that's not bad. Oh, okay, can't afford it. Uh, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> the crawl down floor. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Well then, um, we will be attempting to find a... a... Oh, this is one of those, um... A fire and ice rooms. Well, we got ice last time. Uh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> Let's try fire this time. Oh, nice. That's kind of a cool icon, too. Oh, I run out heroic vandalism. And the grill. Now, we have barbecue. So we can now make some grilled steaks. Uh, I'll run that gauntlet on the way back. Oh, great. Alright. The floor is cleared. Um, I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting this to go as well as I don't think I've ever actually cleared the base game. And I don't know how many floors it is. I don't know if it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know. Because again, Diggle God adds like 15 floors, so I don't know if. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is definitely not what I was expecting to have to go. So, um, this feels kind of bad because it's like, I, I wanted to make this to show you guys some fun, have a fail, and move on, not, you know, slog it out for five or six episodes per run. So, I'm going to leave this here and uh, I'll let you guys. What's the term I'm thinking of? Contemplate. My luck at the moment. <laughs> in the meantime, folks, my name is Deckman. I wish you all good luck, good hunting, safe travels. See you in the next one, folks.